Despite what most people seem to think, comparators are actually quite simple. And that's a good thing, since they are one of the most important redstone components. So what are they, and how do they work? Well, let's start with the comparing functions. We have our main input, which takes a power level from some power source, be it redstone dust, like here, or another power source. This input has some power level. Here it's 12, as we can see with the texture pack, which shows our power levels. Then we have our output line here, which gives us our result. In this case, the input is 12, so the output is also 12. That's the basis of the comparator. Whatever power level goes in, comes out, but it can be modified. And those modifications come from our two side input lines. These are our comparing values. So when we place the comparator, it is in what we call compare mode. What this means is that we are comparing the rear input here to the side inputs. If either of the side inputs has a higher power level than the rear input, the output will turn off. If the rear input power level is greater than both of the side power levels, then the comparator will output whatever is going into it. So here, 12 is greater than both 11 and 6, so the comparator outputs 12 because that's what's coming into the comparator. When we change the 6 to a 13, now the comparator outputs no power because 13 is greater than 12. It's pretty simple, right? So that's compare mode, but we have one other mode, subtract mode. Just right click on the comparator and now we're in subtract mode. Now we subtract the greater of the two side inputs from our rear input. If this side is six, but the other side is seven, then seven is greater than six. So we take 12 minus seven equals five. That's it. Just remember, if the light's on, it's in subtract mode. If it's off, it's in compare mode. So the second main function of the comparator is measuring block state. This is mostly seen with hoppers, chests, barrels, etc. A comparator pointing out of any container will measure how full that container is. The output is just how full that container is in decimal percent times 15 and round it up. So if we have nine stacks here, the container is one third full. One third times 15 is five. With 18, it's two thirds full. Two thirds times 15, 10. Or you can just check out the wiki for a table of all the different signal strengths for all the different containers. Just remember, any container, so furnaces, smokers, droppers, etc. Anything that holds items. But note that there are some other non-container blocks that comparators will read from also, like beehives, a cake, cauldron, composter, jukebox, and a lectern, to name a few. I'm not going to go through all of them right now, so check out the wiki for the details on these because they are particular and don't put out power levels the same way that a container does. But that's it. Not too complicated, right? I hope you understand a little bit better after this video. If you're interested in more quick redstone videos, please check out the playlist linked here. And thank you very much for watching.